Welcome to the Victim to Victor workshop and or video in which I'm going to discuss with you how I shifted my mindset. <clears throat> I'm going to provide you some insights and some exercises and an opportunity at the end um, that I engaged in and do engage in with clients to in empower them to break free from the victim mentality. So as you read and as you're experiencing in the book, um, in the sneak peek that you received, or the book itself, what you, what you started to work on was detaching what actually happened in any situation you can use this exercise, what actually happened from the story that you created around what happened. And so I just wanna share some experiences with you in which I played the victim and a result of me playing the victim led me to playing small. And so for years and years and years, I blamed my past on my current life circumstances, if you will. So I'm gonna share an example with you. I was convicted of felonies and you know, through my drug addiction and you've read in my, in my story, I was convicted of four different felonies for, you know, drug related offenses. And I, the first three years that I was in recovery, I worked as a painter in drywall. Why did I work as a painter in drywaller? I absolutely hated it, but I had created this story in my mind that told me that I was a convicted felon and therefore would never hold a real job. And it went on and on and on and on. And, and as I got deeper and deeper into transformational work, I started to realize the stories that I had added on to my entire life. Every situation that happened, I added on and on and on and on. And the end result was of it, I the end result of it was I didn't take any action. I didn't take any action to further my life. I lived a very, very small life actually. And what that meant was I was constantly playing it safe. I wasn't applying for the jobs that I wanted. Um, I was staying as a painting, painter and drywaller based off of the story that I created about who I was. So that's what we're going to get into right now. Who are you? Right? There's a reason why you picked up my book. There's definitely a reason why you opted in to get these bonuses. There's a reason why you you clicked on the link and, and now you're on this exercise, right? Who are you? And so when you honestly start to evaluate who you believe you are, that's when you start to produce the change, the internal dialogue shift, and you start to really take a look at who you've pinned yourself down as, right? And so there's only one way that I know how to overcome a victim mentality. That's to identify that it's not working, right? That's number one. And then is to take action. The only way that I know how to overcome the limiting beliefs that are in my mind, whether that's a victim mentality or what that is, a fear of something, is to take action against the thought. So what I did was, I decided to apply for a job to work, at the, work uh, for the state of New Hampshire. And although I had a lot of people, a lot of individuals, a lot of people around me that were telling me that I would never get the job due in my past, I decided to apply anyways. Why did I decide to apply anyways? Because I wanted to disprove my mind, right? Or at that time, I just wanted to see if it was all made up. And you, I mean, you've read my story or maybe you've just read this snippet. I got the job. Right, so I applied. I got an interview. I rocked the interview. Um, in the interview, in the after the end of the interview, I got a second interview. I went in. I crushed it. I got the job. I got. I had to jump through some hoops. Don't get me wrong. There were a lot of barriers in, in place. So I had to get letters of recommendation. I did that. I even had police officers that gave me letters of recommendation. My old parole officer gave me a letter of recommendation. I had all the. You know, I I jumped through all the hoops and landed the job. And then later down the road, there was an article written about me that was like an, an attempt to slander me. And I stayed at that position for a while. And then I took a higher level position. But 
what I'm stating here is the only way to overcome who you're telling yourself you are is to take actions going against who you tell yourself you are. That's the only way that I know how to overcome it. If you want to go from a victim to a victor mentality, you need to take actions against the limiting beliefs that are in your head, right? And so maybe for a long time, you've been told that you lack motivation. Well, I want to go out on a limb and state that no one on earth lacks motivation. Let me ask you a question. How many times have you started things? Right? I am a serial starter. I am, I, you know, at the time I was not a solid finisher. So my problem wasn't motivation. I was motivated and actually took action on and started hundreds of things. I just didn't follow through with them. I didn't complete them. Why? Because I lacked the mindset, the belief in myself that I could actually do it. Right. And so when you start taking actions against what your mind's telling you and you actually start to produce and start to and start to complete things that you want to, what happens to you is your esteem builds and you start to believe in yourself and your past then comes then becomes fuel for your future. So you hopefully have already gone through the you've hopefully sorry about that hopefully already gone through the why exercise so you, you've had an experience with journaling and, and, and really getting in touch with your purpose and, and finding out what it is that you want to do on this earth and da, 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 and all the things that came to you. And I want to offer you an opportunity now that you've established, you know, why it is you continue to play a victim because you continue to feed the negative energy and you continue to tell yourself all these lies. My challenge to you, my offer to you is to get outside of your comfort zone and take actions against your limiting beliefs. And so I have an offer for you. And the offer is, is I want you to enroll in my seven day purpose chasers jumpstart. Why do I want you to enroll in this jumpstart? Because the entire program is designed around retraining your brain and taking actions against your limiting beliefs so that you can get some momentum and start to fulfill on the things that you want to fulfill on. So that's an opportunity for you. And what I will tell you is that if it doesn't work, I will 1000%, not 1000%, but I will 100% refund the money that you put. I'm so committed. If you complete it and you're not satisfied, I will refund your money and I'll get on a coaching call with you. So are you going to take this opportunity or are you going to continue to live in your limiting beliefs? Well, if you have the desire that I have to continue to go against what my mind tells me and disprove my mind and complete things that I want to complete and design this amazingly epic life, then I would challenge you to take action. If you're ready to take action, I'm ready to see you in the challenge. And if you're ready to jump into the challenge, then click the button below this video and get started. It is a $47 commitment. Why do I charge $47? Because I want you to invest as much as two cups of coffee, coffee per day while you're in the challenge. At one point, I gave the challenge away for free. And what happened was people weren't completing it. Why? Because they didn't have any skin in the game. They didn't have anything at stake. So I decided to put a price tag on the challenge of $47 because it's cheap still. It's $7 a day or it's under $7 a day, right? Seven, seven times seven, would, it would be, uh, would not be $47. It would be $49. She'd get her $2 savings off what I'm telling you. But regardless of that, the, the mathematic debacle that I just engaged in. I want to challenge you to take action, click the button, sign up, jump into my purpose chasers jumpstart and get a jumpstart into rocketing off away from your victim mentality. And like I said, even if you don't decide to jump in, know that the only thing that is going to replace your limiting beliefs about yourself is taking action against your limiting beliefs. It's the only thing that I've found. A lot of people want to sit on the sidelines and go to transformational workshops and do all these self-help things, hoping that they just get fixed, right? Well, if I'm the only one to ever tell you this, I want to share with you that the only way that you're going to overcome these is by taking actions against them. There's nothing wrong with you. You don't need help. You need empowering and encouraging. And that's what I offer you in the seven-day challenge. And so if you are ready to rock, 
and you're ready to roll and you're ready to take actions against your limiting beliefs, then sign up for the seven day purpose chasers. Jump start and let's get rolling. I'll talk to you soon.